Um, so you ran the marathon. What was that like? This Gosh, year? you know, it was it was amazing. It was everything I thought it would be, and then some. As I feel like it's sort of cliche to say, right? Uh, it was amazing in the sense that, you know, gosh, I've been thinking about doing it for three years, you know, ever since it happened in, in 2013. Did you ever and, want to run before then? Or did no, you, no, no. I, being a ballroom dancer my entire life, I had zero interest in running. I didn't understand why people would run 26.2 <laughs> miles yeah, and sweat kind of and like no makeup and no glittery bedazzled ball gowns heels yeah your hair you know, isn't quite as beautiful as no no it's like and then I've seen the end of it and people want to pass out I didn't it's get awful it. it's no a miserable right thing. I was like twice. I don't understand yeah. it I don't yeah well you're a rock star you twice <laughs> I'm I'm a one and done maybe never say never no. but um, I didn't understand it and then you know everything changed and the marathon um, became such a part of uh, Boston and such a part of you know the core of this city um, uh, it was before, obviously, but even more so, I think, after 2013. Yeah. So it, I had yeah. made a promise. That's when I changed and said, I want to run this marathon. Yeah. So I was always a spectator and a fan and sometimes a little too drunk. Uh, and then after 13, I was like, you know what? It's time to step up and do it. Uh, yeah. And for you, I think it's an amazing F you to those two scumbags that did everything yeah. Uh, yeah. as a way that you That's can't exactly beat us. That's exactly what it was. It's a good yeah. way to put it. It's, it, it was, yeah. It was so amazing. And Thank you. Um, Thank you. It was it was really powerful. It's, we're driving over Boylston Street. Oh yeah, near the, the finish, finish line. line, right there. Yeah, and uh, and it was really uh, it was really powerful. And you know, this year, um, Patrick and I were the first amputees to do it uh, on foot, and there were over thirty that were injured that returned to the marathon route this year, which I think speaks volumes to the core of Boston oh. and. The Thirty fire. that were injured in 2013. Yes, they were along the route. There. Yeah, right. yep. Whether it was in a hand cycle or um, on foot, that were injured. You know, with gosh, there's so much hearing loss, it varied injuries. Um, oh, okay. As well. Um, oh wow! And you ran this year for Limbs for Life. Yes, that's a charity you're super supportive of. And, yes, yeah. I am. I found them uh, through the the rabbit hole of internet searches. Early on, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Seriously, um, especially on Twitter, there's a lot, of, a lot yeah, of spam out there these days. There is a lot of spam, and there, um, especially when you are on Vicodin and in the hospital and just, <laughs> just alone in the hospital at night, just searching for amputees. And I uh, really wanted to find out about amputees and, and what you know prosthetics were, how to say the word prosthetics. Like yeah. I had no exposure to this whatsoever. And mm -hmm. long story short, it's a dictionary. I, you ever have a dictionary? For, there's <laughs> prosthetics in there. I think, I think there is. And I yeah. think they have online you know, ones now that can pronounce you it. You don't have a dictionary in the hospital. It's just no? the craziest thing. We gotta we gotta let them know that. That needs to be part of it. <laughs> I think Google helps. I think Google well. helps yeah. too. Yeah. When you're on Vicodin, those are not the first things that come to mind. Yeah. So, I, I was on the rabbit hole of internet searches, and I came across um, someone who was saying that their family could not afford a prosthetic. And I thought, wait a minute, like how come these things aren't covered like eyeglasses and contact lenses? It's clearly that, that it's a life issue, you know? And I really, I, it terrified me. I thought, am I gonna be able to afford it? How much are these things gonna cost? And then of course laid awake all night. And then I was in an interview the next day and I thought to myself, my gosh, if I were that girl that's sitting, and I saw a photo of her sitting in the bed, she's a teenager, and she had a wheelchair next to her, she was above me, and she had lost it in a horrific car accident, and and I thought, if I were that girl and seeing all of us getting the support and love and uh, finance help from so many that reached out like all over the globe, that the Boston yeah. survivor community got, I would hate me. Yeah. And 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 I don't mean that in a, in a self, you know, deprecation kind of way, I just mean that in, um, I mean that in a way that is, you know, I, I really wanted to use my my um, my exposure for good, uh, and so I I just found Limbs for Life and I wrote them and said I'd love to volunteer some time. I don't know what you need, but I'm I want I want to be a part of you um, in some type of way. And you started that 2013 yeah. before you even got your prosthetic. Um, I got my prosthetic and found them right around the same yeah. time. I think it was within a month ish. A little bit blurry, but it was within a month. -ish. That's okay. Um, I don't remember what I did this morning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Neither do I. Uh, and so, so yeah, we've just had a really good relationship ever since. I've been volunteering uh, airline miles and time and speeches. That's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpy. It's, it's, all right. roads are it's like we should have put our hands up, like we're on a roller coaster or something, right? Yeah. Uh, and 
And so I've been volunteering time, and I was just recently invited to join their board of directors. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. It's pretty exciting. So how can people help help that out? Um, keep going straight, actually. Um, but um, how can um, people help out Limbs for Life and donate and make online donations? Or Yeah, absolutely. So they can go to Limbs for Life. That's F-O-R, not the number four. Limbsforlife.org. There's a huge donate button right there. They make it really easy for you. So, you know, as everybody said, you know, donate 25 cents. It's going to make a difference. And they provide limbs for life. So a lot of people don't realize how many you go through. You go through a lot. They provide limbs for life yeah, for so many people. Yeah, it's not just one for your yeah, entire life. Yeah, it's not life, just right? one, right? And I saw, Especially I, for kids. I follow your Instagram like crazy. Um, Thanks. As I do yours. Um, yeah, but I write like two words. You write whole paragraphs, <laughs> which are amazing. You go on soapboxes. This is why This is why I do better on Instagram but than Twitter. But I was Twitter trying to limited. do some research. I'm like, oh, forget these articles. I'm just read your, your articles you write on Instagram. Um, but I, limbs for life was one. Um, there's roughly 500 people that lose their leg every single day. Yes. Which I was floored by. In the U.S. alone. Just the U.S., really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's probably more and more tornadoes. Yes. And, oh, yes. my God. Yes, definitely. Um, and then 800 kids a year. And is that U.S. too? 800 kids a year due to lawnmowers alone. Just lawnmowers. Yeah, and I don't I don't use the word accidents because I don't think kids yeah. should be going near lawnmowers. Oh, just... okay. I saw that and I was curious. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if something was intentional or not. Yeah. Um, that's horrific. It so, is horrific. Um, it really is. And, and you know, obviously it's, it's easy for me to say, you know, you think it would never happen to you, but you really wouldn't. But you think of those numbers and you think, gosh, we really need to educate each other and, and, and find out more about it because just like eyesight can change, your life can change. And, um, this world would go crazy if suddenly the government were to take away eyeglasses and contact lenses. Yeah, I wouldn't have sure. been able to find this So you were, you were also in, pushed in Congress to push for laws, right? Yeah. Um, for amputees. Yeah. Um, there was two things. I, now I'm drawing a blank, which Anderson Cooper would never draw a blank. <laughs> but he probably has a teleprompt. So. Um, but you pushed a law in New York City for amputees. I and did. Then, oh, Medicare. Yeah. The Medicare law. Yeah. So. Yeah. Pushed a law. There was an actual law, not not anything to do with insurance. There was a law in New York City that said one leg a lifetime, mm-hmm. no matter what. And it was just obscene. Really? Oh, uh, wow. And it had just been put in place by someone at some point a long time ago. We overturned that. And then... Uh, and then also uh, worked with Medicare to rewrite the LCD, which is a law that um, was preventing lower limb prosthetics from getting covered. Mm, that's awesome. Yeah. So limbsforlife.org. I'll actually send a tweet after this to, to the drug site. Thank um, you so much. I don't know if anyone reads my tweets or not, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure they do. I've <laughs> but, seen your I've seen your following. But it will, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I appreciate um, it. But I'll send that. So, but. Uh, a little more personal stuff. You're from Seattle. What, yeah. brought, what brought you to Boston? I am from Seattle. Uh, I'm far from home, but I have family that loves to travel, so I'm lucky for that, yeah. right? Uh, and and I was just there. I, ballroom dancing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's more competitive here. Really? In, yeah. In Boston? In Boston. Two more the old, the, the old school uh, white glove um, history oh, wow. of amazing. ballroom dancing is much more competitive here. And... Also, you can get better coaches here because they come across the pond, as they say, uh, and, and coach you from places like Russia or Europe. Oh, okay. Or so on and that's support. where the, the elite of the elite. sport? Yes, and sport? it's easier sport. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of people might argue that it's a sport. We put in our hours and um, we wear high heels and, and not strange. running shoes. I, will, okay, I don't watch. <laughs> I'm, I'm more a Bachelor fan than Dancing with the Stars. Oh, all right. All right. True confession. Oh, I'm totally publishing it um, on Twitter. But. <laughs> It certainly is very strenuous moves yeah. that they make. I mean, that's as oh, far yeah. as dancing as I'm aware of. Um, yeah, and yeah. Kind of like maybe a drunk Saturday night stuff, but uh, right. And um, in high heels, backwards, yeah, for sure. no less. Yeah. As Ginger Rogers.